Hey everybody and welcome back to Black Arrow Gaming, I'm Bob and we're here for the third episode in what will probably be a string of three uh, marathon episodes. I have, uh, I've, I've just in the last episode kind of knocked purple off of uh, this area where they had a small, small-ish force invading. This army was able to take out basically uh, two stacks and an extra unit. Um, but there's a lot more crap headed my way from purple and I need to do something about that. So I was looking through the units and knowing that you can only, an orbital relay sector can only be used once per turn, whether it's receiving or sending units. What I've decided to do is get my Medusa down there as well as mm -hmm. another stack of these guys and another Melictor. So what I'm gonna do is move this, oh, hang on, um, I'm clicking on all sorts of stuff I don't wanna click on. Move these guys off into this stack move just the Medusa on, and then on the next turn what I'll do is I will send another uh, Overseer guy down to hang out with them. But I can't do that because this sector cannot receive more than one stack per turn. So you guys can go down here onto this tile, and I'm gonna probably send them there. The nice thing is really not having to worry about Blue. I thought I was going to have to fight Blue, but it looks like he's my only ally in this situation, so I am totally fine with that. Then everybody else can move back up to, like, I don't know, this position here, and uh, that is going to be a much tougher fight for them to, to get through. Also, a lot of these units are ships, so they can't come up onto land anyway. Um, so I think I'll be okay there. I don't really need to go into the water for any reason. Um, now that that there's a little pressure off of those guys over there, these armies here can carry on making a mess out of all their cities in this area. So why don't you guys, in fact, I think this group can probably handle this fine on their own. Um, very low risk battle. You know what? I'm actually going to micro this one because I sort of just wanted to see how this would work. Let me let me back off for just a second. Got the Molictor in there. Yep, I got everybody I needed. I kind of wanted to try a group set up like this for a while, just to, to try the uh, Enforcer paired with the Mirage and use all their abilities in coordination with each other. So I think I'm just gonna do this. Manual combat. It's a very low risk battle. I would be able to auto combat no trouble, but I just want to try this, so we'll see how it goes. The idea is to use this guy in the ship as kind of an anchor, and then everybody else just basically walks in shooting. All right. Plus I got Dark Elation and other buffs on top of everything else. So I am good to go. So, I'm going to move uh, everybody pretty much as far as they can, but a lot of it's going to be dependent on where that Enforcer can move. They don't have turrets, so I don't need to worry about that. I am more than willing to walk right into the line of fire for the bulk of their stuff. Um, I'm going to put him here and get his shields up. That defense mode allows other units to get plus four shields if they're within range. Then I'm going to put the ship right above him also on defense mode and it receives it looks like it receives the extra shields which is really nice and it does its own defense with mirage field so now everything underneath that's really hard to hit then i can move the molictor up uh just one side or the other probably actually i'll move these guys here just because they can reach that spot the molictor goes here for now overseer here and these guys here I can actually put them on Overwatch. And everybody else on hold ground. And now what we have is a bunch of units that are really hard to hit and have an absurd amount of shields. Because they have, uh, where is it listed in here? Rough terrain camouflaged, I guess? No, that's not it. They're basically, obs okay, obscured, that's it. They're 40% harder to hit and shielded. So really, nothing should be able to touch that group. Yeah, you go 
ahead and fire all you want. That guy in the front did take a decent bit of damage. I think that's because everybody ganged up on him. Ready. But it doesn't really matter because now everything is perfectly within range of getting wrecked. And the Malictor is just the unit for that when they all punch up like this. Good riddance. With both of those bugs gone, that allows you to heal him. Spilling a couple effects in the process. And then I think everybody can... I'm going to defend with this guy for this turn. And reset up my defenses. And just end the turn and let them come again. Uh, I guess I should have seen the grenades coming. One disadvantage to that is things like grenades that... Can stagger groups of units. Where'd these guys come from? Where'd they get a little assault drone from? Maybe they summoned it in or something? I'm not really sure. Anyway, he's about to get dead. Uh, since they still seem pretty intent on killing this guy, I'm going to have him do this. Enemy annihilated. And then I might give him Cerebral Override. Actually, for now, Enforce Control, I think, is better. That gives him a little, a few extra shields on top of everything else, which means these guys are going to stay in their spot again. Um, you can take, you should be able to take that little guy down, no problem. Then I, I messed him up a little bit, not as much as I wanted to, but I should be okay. All right. Honestly, I think I would have probably still lost, like if I let the computer do this battle, I would have probably lost somebody, I think. All right, now might be the time for me to do a hallucinogen projector on those guys. That'll make them far less accurate. I can still shield with this guy. Malictor can... I'm going to have him go on defense, I think. Actually, what I could do... Nah, I'm going to play it safe and just leave him on defense. Because even with them both shooting at him, they're not going to kill him. Even if they did hit, which they won't. So yeah, just get rid of that one. Right. Now, with Hallucigen Projector, maybe they'll be more likely to try to run closer. I don't know. But, uh... Has he got any debuffs on him that I should be worried about? No, he's good. Um, I don't think I need Cerebral Override yet, so we'll just end turn and see. No, they're going to stay up there and still try to shoot that guy. All right, well, I think it's time to, for him to back off, so everybody else can charge at this point, I think. Um, I do need him to get out of the way for a second. But everyone else can pretty much just charge. Maybe not as efficiently as I thought, but that's okay. Alright, you go ahead and get out of here. Before you get yourself killed. Now one nice thing I can do here is I can target the wall and do Cerebral Override. Target the wall again. Stun one of them. All these little abilities on the Syndicate really come together very nicely. And now they're pretty much toast, I think. Can't do any more heals, so may as well just do this. Of the shoot, shoot that guy. Down. And you know what? Just to add insult to injury, I'm gonna punch you to death. The Syndicate rules supreme. I like that little group combo. It's not really as powerful as the other armies that I have that have like a tier four unit and then the Melector with just a bunch of high promoted of these guys, but it is a cheaper option 
with a lot of low level units doing working together very efficiently. I really like that. It kind of fits my play style in a lot of ways. Um, until you get obviously this late in the game where it doesn't matter as much. I'm going to, let's see, I can move these guys up here. And I'm going to move the Mirage onto that tile temporarily. Move these guys here. And then I can attack with the Mirage. Do a very low risk battle. I'm going to try to auto this, but I might have to do it manual because I've got weak units and they'll probably try to kill them. So. Nope, they didn't get anything, so we're, we're good. Closing in on your cities pretty quick. This is just one more under my control. All right, you're right. I can't move those guys anymore on this turn. Um, teal stuff's headed my way. I think I'm just gonna get this guy out of here. No reason for him to stick around. Just explore as much as I can with him. Uh, this guy is good to come down to Haldar, at least. Probably further. It's really nice not having to worry about blue. I thought that was going to be a problem, but I guess our diplomacy is good enough. You know what, Claudius? Let's let's talk a little more. We got a good relationship going. You've been a, he's been a good friend the whole game, really. He's he's hasn't bothered me, and we've been neighbors this whole time. Um, I'm gonna have to. Bring him into a war, though, on the next turn, so I'm going to need to save. I was going to compliment him just to further improve relations. Wait, I wonder if there's other, anything else we can do to, like, make a more formal alliance. We could share vision. We could allow building on claims. So sharing vision might be actually nice. I would like to see... You know what? Let's just straight up propose an alliance. All right. Looks like Claudius and I are going to win the game together. Um, let's do... I might need open borders with him. I'm not going to do it yet because I don't want his stuff running through my territory, but if I need it, I'll ask for it. Sharing intelligence could be good. All right, I think I want to share intelligence with him. Because that increases both of our operational defense. I like where this is going. Okay, uh, share vision, probably. He doesn't want to do that. Same negotiation, give you be proposed again in three turns. What if I... Can I can I do it and ask for a balanced offer? Like if I did share vision and you did share vision. Oh, we can't do that. Okay. Maybe if I just threw something in at him? I've got a ton of Cosmite. That might make him happy. Here, how about 20 Cosmite? Very bad deal for me. But I don't care. I have like 500 Cosmite. There you go. And I actually don't mind if he has some. Okay, now I can see all the interior. Oh gosh, the growth are wrecking his face. They're all over the place. What has he got going on here? Holy crap, that's where all those plants that I saw went. There, how is he still alive? How could he survive this long with yellow on one side and purple on the other and the growth running all over his land? Like I would be dead. But the good news is that now I can see where all of yellow stuff is. And there's a lot of it. So hopefully I'll be able to pressure some of that with these guys. I know it's not like a ton of units, but they're very good units. And I'm going to probably... Let's see, are those all connected? Those are all connected to this colony here. Which also, coincidentally, has Cosmite. So... I'm going to probably just fly over there. Hello. I'm going to take your city on the next turn unless you reinforce it. We'll stay just off the coast over the water. OK, 
Okay, what can Amarco do now? I think it's got uh, all the orbital relay improvements it can get, so at this point, probably virtual entertainment plaza, plaza and holistic military care center. Um, actually, I might flip those. I think I'm gonna flip those. Get the one that can heal military units first. Seems more important. Nicole declared war on Celia. Okay, good to know that you guys are infighting when you Incoming really should. I'll be going after wait. Oh wait, hang on. She's giving me a compliment. Why? Aren't we at war? Yeah, uh, we're at war. I don't know. Maybe she realizes that she's on the losing side. She wants to sock up to the winner. All right, Kevil is officially my city now, so that's kind of nice. I'm gonna do um, what is what do we got here? Energy. I'll do another energy sector. Actually, hang on. You know what? I want another orbital relay. I just want them everywhere right now. That's fine. That city is a pretty easy target if somebody wants to go after it right now, but I think I think uh, I'm pretty much locked in a stalemate here with her. I need to keep some units, though. I, I need to at least keep some units up in this area. I think Ronald's army, I'm going to have Ronald's army just stay here around these towers because I can't risk something slipping through and getting them. And speaking of which, there are some Autonom on their way down, so... Yeah, I'm gonna send Ronald's army up here. These, the rest of them should be okay defending down here on their own. I'll put them all back together. And there are so many notifications to go through. Created sector base sector for Davidar. Annexed. Happiness events, I'm just gonna click through those. Units produced, click through that. Completed the Harbinger. Relationship changes. Occasionally there's important stuff in Incoming here, like Claudia sent me a message. Um, we are maintaining relations, we have an alliance. I guess he sent me that before we did that. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, domain invasions, that would be good to know. Okay, that's just random independence, don't care. Enemy operation detected. Uh, that guy's doing another internal purge. Uh, Teal is now neutral with Claudius. A lot of people made peace the moment this war broke out. Cyfish joined the war. Reputation is now trustworthy, which seems ironic. Uh, forged a defensive pact. Plenty of operations ready to launch. Okay, I need... Thank you, Claudius. Incoming Probably communication. complimented me. Incoming communication. Okay, that's pretty much all the important stuff out of the way. I, okay, um, I need strategic ops, which I still need one on Nasendel. I'm going to go ahead and start priming another gravity flux thing. Wherever it is. Orbital defense uplink. Where is it? Concentrated gravity flux. Why can't I do that? Operation has already been primed. Okay. Um, so that's over here somewhere. I want that here. All right. That kind of finishes off. And then I'm going to keep trying to infil infiltrate people's operation centers as much as I can. I do like having the shared intelligence with this guy. I like having that extra operational defense that I sort of just like accidentally worked out really nicely for me. It's always nice when that happens. I can pretend to be good at the game, even though I'm really not that good at Planetfall yet. <laughs> And I know some of you are probably saying, no, you are really good. Wait till you see my next series, because I think I think it's going to be a mess, because I'm going to try um, something that I'm entirely not familiar with. So I'm trying to learn a little bit before I go into it, but uh, it's I don't think it's going to be great. 
Then again, it's a little easier in games in, like Planetfall where it's kind of more designed as... I don't know. Planetfall... So it's it's interesting because in my Age of Wonders 3 series, I, I tend to um, do like me versus X number of computers, and it's just straight-up warfare. Planetfall's a little more open-ended with like multiple paths to victory, kind of like Civilization, so you tend to play it as a free-for-all game. But maybe like longer down deeper in my Planetfall series, I will... Uh, to try doing just me versus everyone type games uh, with only military victory on. Play it kind of like I play Age of Wonders 3. Might be fun. I don't know. I'll have to... Maybe you guys can give me like feedback on what, on what you think. I, I feel like... I, I kind of feel like um, maybe one more free-for-all game at least while I'm getting my feet wet with Planetfall because I'm really still... Like, there's a lot of stuff I still don't know about this game. I learned most of it from you guys, and I appreciate that. But but later on down the road, when I'm a little more confident in my capabilities, maybe I'll bust the Vanguard out again and do another one, because I still really think... I mean, they're, they're easily my favorite. It's like me and the dark, er, me and the elves, me and the elf druid in Age of Wonders 3. It's just like my go-to if I want to, like, play hard and win easy. Okay, uh, these guys are here to cause a nuisance, and what are they attacking? Are they attacking the... Are they attacking the orbital... Oh, crap. Hang on, I'm not sure... What they're attacking. I wish I could zoom out and see. Is this a city? Is it one of the orbital relay stations? It says impossible battle, but if this is an orbital relay station with the spire in it, I will do anything and spend any amount of points to win it. But we're looking at some units with some decent mods. This is a bad time for the autonom to come in. Okay, I'm gonna have to manual combat this and assume that it's my orbital, or it's the... Sorry, the Spire of Suffering. I'm gonna have to assume it's the Spire of Suffering. I didn't get a good look at it when it switched to the battle. Um, no, it's not. It's one of these gravity generators. But why do I have militia on a gravity generator? That doesn't make sense. It doesn't give me militia on the structures in the territory, does it? Or is that the Spire of Suffering? No, that can't be. Like, I would think that would be purple and looking. I'm pretty sure that's a gravity flux generator. So I don't know why they're attacking this. But I better save. I'm just going to take out as many as I can and save the operation points for the next battle. One nice thing I can do is focus on the units on one side, which will make things a little easier. Maybe I can scan... I'm gonna scan the monitor, there's several of them. I got a T-Rex, which I haven't actually used since the T-Rex update. Hopefully they got buffed. It seems wrong not to buff the T-Rex in the T-Rex update. I actually really don't, I, I think the Amazon are one of my least favorite races, um, which is odd because I like the Elf Druid so much in Age of Wonders 3, but I find a lot of their units to be just a little too fragile for my liking and not enough consistency. Like, for example, it's the Huntresses mostly. Like, I don't, I like, I think their blind ability can be very good, their flash arrow, but it's like if it doesn't work, then you're really screwed. Because they die easy. But anyway, let's see what they throw at me. Networking up, I see. Yeah, this is not going to go well for me. I think it's just, I really got to gang up on these two over here and, and just try to kill them and then hope for the best otherwise. Uh, okay, I can do a little bit of poison damage to you. It's a little better from here, so let's do that. Biomancer can mess him up pretty good too. You from here have no line of sight.
Maybe you can lob something at them. Oh, not enough action points for Bioshell Bombardment. Oh, those are two <laughs> network controllers. Those aren't monitors. Crap. So close to killing it. I think one more. Enemy okay, got the grace. I'm gonna hide him behind this thing and then probably just do a giant goo ball at him on the next turn. Yeah, I won't win this battle even with tactical operations, so I'm just really hoping. I just don't know why I have Militia on a gravity flux generator. That doesn't make sense to me. Maybe there's something worth using in here. That one wouldn't be any useful. The nanite support station can be pretty nice. Uh, not with another salvo of missiles coming on the next turn, though. All right, I think it's just gonna be a rush the monitor kind of thing. Try to knock him out. Hey, I'll take that critical hit, not bad. I'm not going to be able to panic that way. So the stagger is nice. I got a little lucky with that one. If you can hit him. Can you hit him from here? He just needs something to just nick him a little bit. This should work. Good riddance. All right, that allows me to heal you. Oh, he's blinded. That's part of the reason why I couldn't shoot. So far, I haven't lost anyone, and I did get rid of two of their units, so maybe it's not all bad. Maybe I'll throw a Valkyrie down and just see how they respond to it. They'll probably annihilate it, but... Uh, if it gives me the opportunity to kill anything else, might be worth it. Where is that? Deploy Valkyrie. I can't stagger. Uh, I'll wait, I'll wait. Let him shoot off the missiles. Yeah, it's probably not going to be worth it. No matter how many tactical operation points I use in this battle, I don't think I would win it. I just had this bad feeling that they are attacking the Spire of Suffering. Which would be really bad, because it would disrupt everything. Can you hit anyone with this yet? It's not being very useful. Okay, there we go. That was pretty useful. Thank you. You know what, I can rush him. I mean, the mother node is gonna be a problem, but if I rush him with everything I've got, maybe I can get him. And you know what, I will throw a Valkyrie down if it means I can kill off one more of these guys, so let's do it. I'm gonna move you probably here and grenade this spot. PT. PT. Oh, that unit burned to death. PT. 
A lot of pities, I don't like that. Okay, people are dying very quickly. Is it worth spending one more to try to kill that thing, or do I just need to let this happen? Or is there any other large damage dealing ability I can do that might tip this to the point where I could kill him? No, I don't think so. The only thing, the best thing I have is that uh, Sinumbra Embrace of Darkness, but... Well, it would stagger him. It would prevent him from firing his missile on the next turn, but I think they would still kill everything I had, so... If I do another Valkyrie, I might have a chance. Yeah, that's my choice. I'm gonna try it. Maybe there's an off chance that they won't kill everything. Unit has four. Okay, they didn't. But they just healed it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, fine. End the battle. This was an expensive waste. Okay, well... Okay, so it wasn't the Spire. That was just a gravity flux generator. Ronald's army is going to have something very strong to say about that on the next turn. the Scyfish to help me out with the auto nom. Can I get them to do that? They should. They kind of are, like, lore-wise hostile anyway. Okay, well. I can't rely on their help right now, so Ronald's army it is. Have fun, folks. This is a risky battle, but I think they'll be okay. And we can't have these autonoms running around causing a nuisance, so we're we're gonna we're gonna do this. I have faith in Ronald and his capabilities. All right, so top targets are those monitors, I think. Well, that monitor. Although they're gonna put the Justice Stars in front and be annoying, so it might not matter. Um, you go ahead and move up quite a bit. Use that, get everyone excited. Unfortunately, the Malictor is kind of useless in a battle like this. But Ronald should still be okay. Yes, his sword does do psionic damage, but it also punches through armor, so... Yeah, it punches through armor and shields. The... These guys are going to be the most useful units in this group, I think. Which means I probably need to spread them out. So they don't all get staggered and stunned by this crap. Go here. There you go. And the Molictor uh, probably will just be more of a distraction. I think I'll leave him here for now. And we'll see what these guys do. Yes, please blow up all your walls. Alright, now let me see how much damage I can do. If I can get close enough start trying to stun some of this stuff. Which right now, there's only one I can apparently hit for some reason. Not great odds to stun, unfortunately. The Zenith should do pretty well in this fight. Ronald took a heck of a hit and might need to back off. He does have the 
Now nah, he'll be okay for one more combat round because they used all their missiles. I want you to... I need somebody to get rid of that box that's in the way guarding those units, both of those boxes. Maybe, maybe you can, since you can't do like catatonic on these guys or anything. he couldn't. No line of sight for him. Alright, I need to get you in range of those units. Right there. Oh wait, that's the overseer that I'm moving around. Eh, that's not what I wanted. He just doesn't have a good chance to hit anything, and I'm not entirely sure why. I'm definitely going to need some backup here, and it's going to come in the form of a Valkyrie. Right there to stagger both of those guys. And throw a grenade on the other side, which will also destroy the rest of their cover and blind them. Perfect. It'll make it a little easier for everybody else to shoot at them. Okay, nice. Got a critical hit and stunned one. Alright, perfect. Uh, why is your odds so low to shoot anything? Hang on. Control. Just from long range? Like, you have all these buffs. Is your accuracy really that bad? I think I'm going to have to just shoot at him anyway, though. Ronald is good on defense over here, I think. You guys can move up just a bit more. I'd like to start frying that thing. Whoops, I keep thinking he's an indentured and I don't know why I keep doing that. Hey, I'll take the grays on a shot like that. Okay, that was a really good crit. I'm getting a little lucky here, but I will take it. All right, it's one monitor down. Let's see what they're capable of doing. Unit has four. Who was that? That was an indentured, I think. He'll get back up. A lot of people just got downed. You know what? I've got an idea for this group. Before they shoot off their missiles again, anyway. First off, try to get lucky stuns if we can. Or lucky crits. And I stunned that one. Awesome. Okay. That guy kind of needs to leave before he dies. Or I could heal him, which is probably what I will do, actually. Um, I can get a nice big shot now off on all these guys. Which I may as well take a shot at. I at least staggered him. So he can't use his rocket. And they're pretty useless for combat without that rocket. I mean, sentencing stuff is obviously good, but they can't do damage themselves. Alright. You heal up and hold ground. At least the Molector can set them on fire and electrocute them. That's helpful. Also makes them easier to hit. Okay, that one is stunned. I might... How about you? How are you doing back here? I think I'm going to summon another Valkyrie. Just to stagger this one. And then I could jump over and stagger the other one. With a grenade. Actually, I'll just do this. 
staggers the other one, so none of them can shoot a rocket on this turn. Which makes me feel a little better about running Ronald up. Uh, Anthem of the Abyss would be nice to use, but... I might still be able to use that. No, it takes all three. I'd rather get Ronald up into the action right now. Good riddance. There you go. Alright. What can you do? Not much, I'm afraid. It stops sentencing stuff. That'd be great. Alright, you may as well just finish off that one. I would like to have it out of here. Actually, I probably should have used this guy to do that, but... Yeah, it's okay. Uh, I want Ronald to get down after those other guys. I might need one more Valkyrie to stagger both of them again to make sure they can't use the missiles. Because I've got units in the back that are really soft right now. Oh, this guy's Enemy had a lot destroyed. more damage output than I thought he did there, or a lot better chance of hitting than I thought he would. What can you do about this guy? Or about that one, for that matter? Actually, that one is more important. You've staggered him, he can't shoot his missile, so... I may as well hop over here where I can hit them with a decent grenade and blind one of them. Perfect. So what to do with this guy, I'm not so sure. I think Ronald has some debuffs that I wouldn't mind getting rid of. Yeah, he's blinded and sentenced. So I might use this on Ronald. Oh, I can't be affected. Uh, why not? Oh, it's only for indentured, okay. It's like a lot of their other abilities, it seems. Um, with the Malictor being kind of on fire, I'm gonna put him behind cover. And I think leave everyone kind of set up like this. Ronald on. Well, I'll put Ronald here and then put him on defense so he's got melee overwatch. You can definitely just hack at that thing. And then I think that should be good. I could Cerebral override these guys, give them all their action points. You know what, I'm gonna do that. Just because I can, because they're over here. Alright. Lost all your network levels. What happened? Now there's three Valkyries all over you. All right, I need to heal if I can. If anyone can heal. Oh wait, right, right. I've got that big. All right, I'll I'll finish them off with the Valkyries, and maybe with Ronald because Ronald can heal himself. Okay. Um. I definitely want these guys up here. And I want to bunch all these units together so that I... Ah, I messed it up. Well, no, it doesn't matter. I can still put them together. It's just they won't have full AP. Um, move him here. Enemy annihilated. And then I'll go ahead and use the group heal on that group right there. And we'll just let Ronald do the coup de gras. Our forces are victorious. Okay, that takes care of that little auto nom nuisance for now, anyway. That was annoying. Keep getting all these little pop-ups of things that just want to come cause trouble. All right, now Ronald, that just I think underscores the need to leave you hanging around these towers. 
It won't tell riddles to intruders, but it uh, will riddle a trespasser. Technology. With okay, I've already got. I know I've already got something coming up after that. That I want that orbital laser cannon. Um, how's Ezequin doing on this military base, military assembly base? I think I might hurry that up and get the holistic military care center in after that, just because that one's kind of on the edge. Yeah. And what about Orkuda? Do you have everything you need? And Amarco? I think it does. Yep, okay. Those are fully upgraded research stations now, so should be in pretty good shape. For defending those, anyway. Alright, moving on to the next thing is going to be... Wait, did I take the city itself, or... No, that's all part of this city. Man, they grew that fast. This is part of a different city across the water, it seems. Well, I may as well just take it over on the way. I think we can do an auto for this one. It's only a matter of time before that city falls. Oh look, these guys all are running a different direction, which may or may not be good. Um, okay, if they want to play that game. Then I send one group up to Passneth. That way I can bring another one up if needed. Probably will send these guys, actually. They're going to have to pick one or the other to go after. They may be able to get this water sector. That, that's whatever. They're going to they're gonna take that. But, um... I don't know if I should leave those units there or not. I should probably at least get him out because he doesn't have to die. I don't know if I want to just, like, let those units die trying to defend it and, like, killing as much as they can or what. They can't quite reach me on this turn anyway, so I think I'll leave them there for now. Still can't send anything down that way. Well, actually, I can because I moved the big group up here, which means I can still take this one little guy and send him down... Oh, no, I can't, because I sent units out of this other orbital relay, so they can't get down there now. Ah, whatever. We'll shuffle more around on the next turn. Claudius declared war on Corvin. Okay. Claudius declared war on Celia. Claudius went to war with everybody. Okay. Good. That will at least... Take some more pressure off of me. Now, can I kill yellow yet? There's a lot of dwarven trenchers that are just going to melt in front of these psi fish. I do want to check their mods real quick. Uh, they can apply poisoned. More resistant. And have an extra level of stagger impact. That's not going to be enough to stop this group. Low risk battle. I would say so. Let's do a quick auto. See how it plays out. Absolutely wreck. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not losing that hero. No, sir. I almost didn't notice that hero died. This is an this is an easily achievable battle. Probably could have put her in the better tank though. Imperial, the tier four Imperial tank. That's okay, these guys should be fine. Alright, they're all just trenching up. Cool. 
Um, they have, a, a, she happens to have a very long range missile that I think is going to be fun to use. But I'm gonna try to like fascinate them and mess them up from long range with the sirens too, I think. Why can I not click off of you? I want to deselect that unit and click somebody else and it's glitching. There we go. I think I had the rotate thing selected and it was waiting for orders in that regard. I can fascinate and entice units. I could actually lure some out and turn them into chrysalises. They're biological units, tier one infantry, that kind of stuff. Um, let's see what they do. I don't have a great, you know what? I might actually use these guys to start blowing up. Can they actually do that? I want to, I want to destroy the wall in front of me, that little wall right there. You know what, this is, this is fine. I can't hardly move anyone. Because the controls are being buggy for some reason. Alright, you guys can all run out. Everybody wants that hero dead. I was afraid of that. You guys are about to get so messed up. Oh, and Broken Mind just hit on top of everything else. Alright, I need to back her up. I bet the computer was stupid with her before. Actually, I want a slightly different angle for her. I want her here. Target that guy. I just need to make sure I can protect her, too. I might need to back her up. At least that missile could shoot in one shot. I want to get her as far, like, into cover as possible. So she's relatively safe. She's behind that building, so it's pretty much only the stuff in front of her that can hurt her much. Okay, staggered some units. Now I think I can uh, do an awful lot of enticing bonds. Oh yeah, <laughs> this ought to be fun. In fact, who else would like to be enticed? I could even go for the bulwarks, but these guys are the ones that I can mind control and manipulate. Uh, the hunter can do captivating bond, which just basically stops a unit in its tracks for a little while. The Medusa I'm planning on using to just straight up kill stuff, so probably have it target that guy and get rid of him. I'll have the hunter captivate that one. Okay. You entice that one. You entice that one. And you entice that one. And maybe I can fascinate one? <laughs> oh, this is too much fun. You know what? And just for kicks... Oh, I was gonna drop a Valkyrie right in that spot. That's okay. I might still use a Diversion Projector just to mess up their shots. lines going everywhere. It doesn't matter. All your men already moved. Alright, that Psyfish needs a nursing bond, I think. You need to back up to this spot where you are a little bit safer. Enemy Get rid of him. And heal up a little bit. The Medusa can nursing bond on that 
gonna back it up a little bit before I do. That one's also pretty beat up. But anytime I'm doing something, how long before Captain Enticing Bond comes back? I might use these guys just to kill the units that are closer. Man, I need an AOE for this area, but I'm all out of tactical operations. Uh, could impregnate, but I think backing up and shooting is best right now. They just, they do have a lot of numbers. Maybe you could make one of these guys go catatonic. That'd be pretty nice. Would allow him to shoot at something else. All right, I'm gonna try this. Move here. Okay, I got catatonic, good. I'm not gonna impregnate that one. I more want to just kill things right now. Enemy eliminated. Now that is a melee attack. So I have to be careful. So I don't think I want to just run him into all that. I want to focus on killing off the trenchers, probably. Because if they get lucky shots with those nail guns or critical hits, they can do a lot of damage pretty quickly. In fact, I'm going to back you off a little bit more for that reason. You can shoot this guy just fine and kill him. Ah, or just make him go catatonic for a turn. Killing him would have definitely been preferable, though. Just keep kind of retreating and firing as I go, I guess. Uh, yeah, and this one is not worth doing a melee attack. Not right now. I'll just back him up and try to keep that unit fascinated for as long as I can. That way it's not doing anything. See, that spike gun hurts when it lands. I don't think I've fought any Devar in this series so far. Alright, what else can the Medusa do? What other cool tricks do you have up your sleeve? Uh, that I hope I don't have to use. Man, if I had Malictors here, I'd be in a lot better shape. I think I'm going to have to back up and just shoot this guy. Because this guy really needs to heal. Enemy destroyed. And then I can focus on this group for a little while. Psytech Blast. That's the cone attack. I can phase shift, tactical supply charge, renewal doesn't help. Yeah, it's not worth risking the hero for this. Good riddance. Let's just kill as much stuff as we can. That seems like a pretty good strategy. Maybe I can get catatonic on that guy? Cool, I did. Down. Enemy destroyed. Enemy okay. Down. That takes a little pressure off. Just dropping units as fast as I can. And you staying put right where you are because I'm still not ready to. Maybe I can move you forward a little bit, but overall not really ready to send him out on his own. 
Oh wait, hang on, what's the range on those turrets? You might want to take a step back. There we go. I actually completely forgot they even had turrets in here. Holy smokes, you've got some range. Enemy down. Enemy down. The Cytrek drive modulator is amazing. All right, now is about when I might want to start thinking about, okay, so we got one trencher over there, another trencher here. So I can get more chrysalis out of these guys if I leave a couple alive. Is one of these guys catatonic? You know what, actually it doesn't matter. The bulwark's the only other one. So I'm gonna kill the bulwark. What are you? Oh, that's the nurturing bond, okay. I'm gonna kill the bulwark and then on the next turn I'm gonna try to captivate a bunch of these guys. Because it's just three trenchers left, I think. Alright, so. Captivate, I can get on you. Or entice. Um. Can get entice on that guy in the back and get entice on you. Now this should be much easier to do when I don't have other units shooting the crap out of me. So pull them right out into my open arms. Not reach target. Oh, impregnate. Okay, I got a bat. I think they're still enticed for another turn. Um, well, I can impregnate this one. And this one. And I can't quite get that one. So I will let it continue running to me. Sorry, buddy. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? And now, literally, I can just sit here and watch. Enemy subverted. As this guy eventually turns into a Cyfish himself at the end of the next turn. Our forces are There victorious. you go. Instead of losing a hero, I lose nothing and get three new units. Very cool. Um, another Ego Rifle? Okay, I don't know why. I didn't even attack Paragon stuff there and it acted like I did a quest for the Paragon or, or well, fighting against the Paragon rather. Hey look, free stuff. Send one of the new Chrysalis to go get it. Sell for energy. Very nice. Okay, this is mine now. And now I've got extra little throwaway units too, which is really helpful actually. I think the next thing I'm gonna do is get out on the water and go after the rest of those guys down there or start picking them off if they're in lousy formations. Or I could just try to find Yellow and kill her, but I'm not sure where her leader is. Oh wait, that's her right there. Okay, well then I know where I need to go. Try to gang up on her. Um, should I take her capital first and then come back? I'm not really sure. Well, you know what? This is the end of this episode anyway, and probably the end of this three-episode marathon thing I did here. 
So um, I will let you guys uh, provide some feedback. Let me know. Should I go after the capital first and then circle back and go after her? Or should I just go try to deal with all these armies now? If I take her capital, they may panic and try to run back and get it back. So that, that could happen. Um, also, you know, there's a number of just other things going on everywhere right now. I think I've handled everything okay so far. But I do value you guys' feedback, so let me know what you think. And like I said... I did this three episode marathon to partially make up for the fact that next week, the weekend of, I think, uh, July 18th, um, I think that's July 18th, 2020, will not have uh, a Planet Fall video. I will be busy next weekend. So hopefully these three episodes in a row uh, help make up for the uh, missing episodes from last week and next week. But regardless, thank you so much for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying this series so far. It's getting exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing how this thing turns out. I think I've got this one in the bag, but I guess you never really know what could happen when everybody's at war with you. So I uh, do appreciate you watching, though. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Shout out to all my Patreon supporters, including Tier 3 supporters Blitz, Braden, Adam James, Jim Bro, Tarsac, and Tibby and Army. Thanks so much, everybody.